A patient tests positive for the coronavirus. Time is critical to trace where they have been and who they've seen. South Korea says it can access that information in as little as 10 minutes. If I was confirmed with coronavirus, what would you do then? We put in the mobile phone number, the credit card number, set the time period, and all the information we need appears in our system. Your location from at least two days before you noticed you had symptoms, how long you spent in each place, how busy the area might have been. Mobile emergency alerts are then sent out to the public, sometimes six or seven a day, telling you about cases in your area. It wasn't always this fast. The KCDC says it took up to 48 hours to get the same information five years ago during the MERS outbreak. Criticism of a slow response at the time led to the law being changed. So officials can now use patient statements, mobile records, credit card transactions, CCTV footage for an accurate tracing of transmission. One recent example in my neighbourhood shows just how much detail is being shared with the public by both the government and local businesses. For example, I know the exact locations this individual went to. I know the door that they used in order to get inside my local supermarket. I even know that they bought dry chilli peppers at the self-checkout. So could this model be used elsewhere? This is not advanced technology. The difference is, will other countries have laws allowing them to use this personal information? There are plenty of coronavirus apps here. A map showing every case in your neighbourhood and around the country, started by students, adopted by the government, and an app showing which pharmacies currently have masks in stock. But the government says it is this system, using big data to track citizens who tested positive, that has been the key first step in their policy of trace, test, treat. Paula Hancock's CNN Seoul.